assalamu alaikum class today we are going to discuss a topic arguing persuasively such a technical report writing in technical report writing. first of all we will discuss some slides about this topic so so all we will check how to argue persuasively arguing persuasively is a skill to persuade someone to persuade anyone else to belong you may persuade an employee to perform better or persuade someone to take an action. It's like Dr. Like persuade us to do our effort, effort work, work better to encourage, to encourage us. us. Most effective persuaders are your kids because they don't care about public opinion. They commit by naturally because kids have naturally this habit to persuade someone else. They don't have any kind of public opinion. They can convey in simple words and in simple words. words. But, but it's very difficult it's for, for adults because the adults, adults have much fear of public opinion. Adults have adults to work have hard to work find persuasive path. Because at the initial stage, the nourishment environment, uh, by, uh, environment of our society uh, is, you may say, less to crush the opinion of anyone else. So next, we will discuss, we will discuss some important key points of persuasive people. Who are persuasive people? What is the purpose of their life? And how can they persuade anyone else? So these are seven key points of persuasive people. First one, they are purposeful. They are purposeful, truly persuasive people understand their path, ways it's heavily and knowingly. Aggressive pushes are a turn on. It's the person who rarely asks or argues that ultimately gets consideration. Wants to persuade more, argue or advocate less. Often. Uh, you may say that the purpose of the persuasive people is to convince someone else. They have ideas, they have concept in their mind about the topic. So they have passion to convince and have convincing power. But behind that, they have a lot of knowledge about the topic, about the concept in their mind, so that they can convince anyone else. And you can convince anyone else in this form when you have that knowledge, when you have that topic, when you have that topic, you have that topic. And the second key point of persuasive people is that they listen and listen, then listen some more. Just pushing your own arguments will get you nowhere. Pushing your own argument. Aap khud se bolte ja rahe hai, bolte ja rahe hai. Nowhere. It does not have any purpose. Quite useless. That is only half the equation. Listen actively in persuasion mode. First of all, they are listening to access how receptive you are in, to their point of view. You may say that uh, your audience, point of view, what is the part of your, your, of your audience? Secondly, they are listening for your specific objections. They check that you have any arguments for your objection or what is the point of view? Kya hai? And the third one is, and the last point is, they are listening for moments of agreement. They are listening for moments of agreement. If they agree, if you have a point of value, a solid audience, then they agree too. It is not that they disagree and consider that we are right. Okay, so let's see some examples. You may say that persuasive people listen and listen and then listen. And the third key point of persuasive people is that they create a connection. They don't like to dismiss people. It's easy to dismiss, pe dismiss people easily. Really persuasive people will look for common grounds to help establish emotional ground. They show empathy for your opposition. 
they manage their impatience and wait for you to give them permission to advocate their approach ab yahan pe ye baat hum kar sakte hain ki wo connection logon ke sath rakhte hain to ye nahi hai ki apni hi baat unhone ki hai aur usi pe wo resist kar rahe hain ki jo humne kaha hai wohi theek hai jo hamare paas knowledge hai wohi all over hai final level वो अपने ऑडियंस की भी बात सुनते हैं ठीक है पैशन भी शो करते हैं और उनको भी बोलने का मौका देते हैं एंड द थर्ड की पॉइंट ऑफ द परसुएसिव पीपल इज दैट दे एक्नोलेज क्रेडिबिलिटी दे हैव क्रेडिबिलिटी एंड दे एक्नोलेज अबाउट देयर क्रेडिबिलिटी रॉयली परसुएसिव पीपल अंडरस्टैंड दैट देयर इज नो सेंस वेस्टिंग टाइम आर्ग्यूइंग फैक्ट्स दे वैल्यू स्ट्रांग ओपिनियंस एंड गिव टू वैलिड आर्ग्यूमेंट this make harder for anyone to dismiss their point of view and the fifth key point of persuasive people is that they offer satisfaction smart persuaders are willing to sacrifice wo apne point ki bhi baat karte hain aur dusre point dusre audience ki baat ko bhi sunte hain unke point of view bhi sunte hain aur jahan pe hame lage ki audience ka point of view theek hai wahan pe wo sacrifice karne ke liye bhi willingly sacrifice karte hain they are ready to find the easiest path to yes give ground where you can and hold your ground only where it matters and the sixth key point of persuasive people is that they know when to shut up successful persuaders avoid an ending bargain wearing people down is not an effective strategy this make harder for anyone to dismiss their point of view Successful persuaders avoid an ending by being wearing people down is not an effective strategy. And the seventh key point of persuasive people is that they know when to back away. Great persuaders bring you along in your own time. They give you the space and time to carefully consider their position. They know that nothing is more powerful than your persuading yourself on their behalf. so these are seven key points of persuasive people and the next slide about persuading arguing persuasively is that recognizing an issue the goal of argument is to bring about change in audience initial position on a controversial issue first of all you will recognize your issue what is your issue what what are you are going to talk about what is the fact what is the concept in your mind about the issue and next point is that the, uh, the basic goal of your arguments ki aapne change leke aana hota hai audience ki initial position mein aapke paas ek controversial issue hai us pe aapne argument kiye aur uske baad jo audience ki change position initial position mein change aaya usko aapne further karte hain next is goal is achieved by an arguer जब आपके पास आर्ग्यूर होगा तभी आप अपना गोल अचीव कर सकेंगे आर्ग्यूर प्रेजेंट क्लेम अलोंग विद एविडेंस समटाइम आर्ग्यूर क्रिएट्स द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स ऑफ व्यू एंड द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज डेवलपिंग योर स्टैंड वाइल डेवलपिंग योर स्टैंड यू आर कन्फाइनिंग योर ओन पोजिशन यूज एम्पेरिकल एविडेंस फैक्ट्स एंड स्टेटिस्टिक्स टू सपोर्ट योर क्लेम you should know about your claim appeal to your audience rational and logical thinking list your strengths and weaknesses begin to expand your understanding for each item on your list evaluate each one in terms of how you can support it by reasoning providing details adding an examples or offering evidence as you develop your ideas to remember that you are presenting them in a fair minded and rational way you have logically rationally present your idea present your concept towards your audience now you are creating our any an argumentative thesis argumentative you may or you may say it argumentative essay thesis or essay so one st- sentence summary of the main point is help ha- help you write your paper the 
number one go ahead number one is begin with the topic what you are writing about this is the basic point of your thesis what you are writing about second one is an arguable claim for example gym classes are un an unnecessary part of a college education people could argue other claim next example sky is blue you have to have a real established debate debate debatable claim to write a good argumentative thesis use of support because an argumentative thesis thesis is a topic an arguable claim and a support reasons and evidence clear thinking requires requires concrete fact to support your claim the reasoning has to draw conclusion inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning we have discussed in our class what is about inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning later on we'll again once again discuss it and evidence do not stop back up to your point with evidence you have too much clear about your topic and about the evidence of your topic the strength of your evidence and your use of it how can you use it and where can you use your evidence your evidence can make or break your argument familiarize yourself with some arguments from with the field within the field you have to work so you should be consistent and the next point is acknowledge other perspectives you have your own perspective but your audience have their own perspective so you should acknowledge you should have acknowledgement about it, about others perspectives instead of being egoistic one should be aware of other point of view self centered arguments are hardly convincing self centered you are not nothing yourself but your own self this person might have a good or valid point but his or her lack of awareness of other perspectives of weakness so you have knowledge in your mind too much clarity about your topic about your idea about your concept so which type of strategy you may use it number first one is consider different people involved in arguments consider different opinions those people have will have think of these possibilities before your own opinion next one is arguing logically rationally figure out what you know to be true spend some time thinking about it determine the best course of action logically arguments contains a set of premises at the beginning and conclusion at the end premises and the conclusion will be linked by a series of intermediate steps sometimes so you should generate premises the premises are the fact of the matter the statements that you know or strongly believe to be true writing down a set of premises is a great first step to problem solving immediate step if any forming conclusion the conclusion is outcome of your arguments testing validity of arguments assumes all the premises are true and then see of if the conclusion follows automatically from them antonyms arguments having hidden premises are called antonyms position paper it describes the position on an issue and the rational for the posi that position the position paper is based on fact that the provide a solid foundation for your arguments in the position paper you should use evidence to support your position such as statistical evidence or dates